Hey there everyone, I'm Round the Wheel and you're watching Mega Man 1. Yesterday we took down Nickelodeon Guts Man, and today we're going to do Cut Man. Nickelodeon Guts is a great show. I always felt like I could have done really well on it, even though I was a really pathetic kid. I guess the reason I felt like I could have done well is because all the other contestants always sucked. And Mike O'Malley, of course, would later go on to be on, of all things, Yes Dear. I remember watching Yes Dear and being like, shouldn't you be hosting, like make the grade or get the picture or something like that. I remember you should be hosting game shows, not being in stupid sitcoms. Ah, ha, ha, all right. Yeah, sometimes items get stuck in the wall, but we can collect them all nice and good because we're awesome like that. This is a good place if you're interested in that kind of thing, and I certainly am because I can never avoid a trinket no matter how useless it is. This is a good level to stock up on things like... Like uh, score pellets that fall down ladders so you can never collect them again. Not fair at all. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. <laughs> yeah, okay. That that was a bit of a dance right there. Okay. How about jumping the next time you walk off a ledge? This level is also really ugly. And I'm talking uglier than my Mega Buster pellets, which are the exact same color as English peas for some reason. Yeah, I got that shot off the first time. Okay, yeah, this isn't too bad right here. This isn't too bad a level in general. It does have some uh, nasty spike parts at times with those hamburger clamshell enemies that are stupid. Yeah, of course I would lose that right off the bat, huh? But everybody is dropping the pellets today. They are being super generous, and that was a baller move right there. Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to be modest about that. Hey, a Toys for Tots Recycling Mix. No, no, Pac-Man! Oh, God! <laughs> These guys, I am dealing with enemies way better than I normally do. Most enemies in Mega Man games have really... Or not Mega Man games, this Mega Man game. Most enemies in this game have really ridiculous movement patterns that make them a total bitch to kill. Wow, you don't often get big energy refills from enemies in this game. They are really stingy about this sort of thing. Most of the things you get from enemies in this game are teeny tiny and you're just expected to do well. While you, uh, while you progress through the level. I can get that, right? I sure can get that. I can't wait to see how many of these I got at the... Can't wait to see how many of these I got at the end of the level after I beat Cutman. Cutman, one of the... One of the normal... One of the... One of the recurring mooks from the Mega Man cartoon. Along with Gutsman. If you grew up in the 90s, you remember the Mega Man... Oh, crap. I was talking about the Mega Man cartoon and it threw me off my mojo. Threw me off my mojo root. All right. God, we are racking up tons of these things today, but God, that Mega Man cartoon was terrible. That's what I was talking about. You are not going to get away unexcused, Mega Man cartoon, for you are an absolutely terrible creation. I'm risking a little bit by moving over some. Because once you come up the ladder, you're perfectly safe as long as you just jump and shoot this guy from right there. Man, pellets, 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 come to me. God, this is an ugly level. Who decorates with green brick? I do have a rant planned for the uh, design choices in this game, but not until I get to Iceman stage, where I feel it's a little more relevant. But yeah, these green bricks, these pastels are disgusting. But hey, it was the 80s. Not that that gives this game an excuse, because Mega Man 2 came out one year later, and its color palette is almost uniformly excellent. There are a bit few bits of ugliness in it, but by the time Mega Man 3 rolled around... Okay, I'm just going to let you do your thing until I can get down the ladder. If you know enemy patterns, you can pretty much get through this part unscathed. Or pretty much any part in any level. Big Eye, I don't know if I'll get through you unscathed so much. And here's our big ol' hint. Ah, crap. See how much he took off there? Some enemies in this game are so unfair like those guys. Basically, if it's a giant machine... It's going to murder you nice and good. See if I can get any uh, get anything besides point trinkets from these guys. Not bloody likely. Luckily, I can get that guy on the ceiling while he's dormant. All right. Ah, points, 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 whatever. I'm going to be raking in the points. And here we go. We're going to use that super arm. And if I can not miss, Mega Man is a pretty terrible thrower with an overhand about as terrible as Bomb Man's. But if I can get Cut Man with these two bricks... Then everything should be hunky-dory. Okay, don't come toward me just yet. Oh, yeah, cool, awesome. Okay. All right, yeah, now I get him with the other one. Two hits, and he's down. And if I had to do that with a Mega Buster, I certainly could have, but I didn't want to. Cutman is the other Robot Master who's easy to defeat with the Mega Buster. I could have done it. Didn't want to. Didn't have to. Excellent. How many of those little score pellets did I get? No, I got more than that. I think you shaved a few off the top game. 
I don't like the way you cheat. You're a dirty, rotten, lying accountant of a game, Mega Man. And I'm going to leave you for today, for I am very angry with you. Next time, we're going to go cut some wires in Elec Man stage. See you guys next time.